The president during his campaign rightfully pointed out that we pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs, that the drug companies are ripping us off every single day and that we should lower drug prices. Uh, I have introduced and other people have introduced very serious legislation that would take on the pharmaceutical industry, substantially lower prescription drug costs in the United States. The president has talked about it. Mr. President, come on board. It is absurd that one out of five Americans cannot afford the medicine their doctors prescribe. Moments ago, Senator Bernie Sanders on Morning Joe. Let's bring in NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Casey Hunt live from Washington. Casey, you're looking at the issue of reducing drug prices. What are you finding? Mika Joe, good morning. Republicans may have failed to pass the health care bill in the House, and while the White House and congressional leaders say they might not be done completely trying to replace Obamacare, there is still wide disagreement over what would be in a new replacement bill. Uh, still, President Trump has put a very special focus on prescription drug prices. He met with Democrat Elijah Cummings at the White House to talk about it. If he does try to change the system, then big pharmaceutical companies would wind up in the spotlight and the crosshairs, basically. Uh, remember, my they raised the price of the EpiPen allergy medicine by more than 400 percent from 2007 to 2016, and they got raked over the coals for it. After Milan takes our punches, they'll fly back to their mansions in their private jets and laugh all the way to the bank. While our constituents suffer, file for bankruptcy, and watch their children get sicker or die. So as they're gearing up for the fight, drug companies like Mylan are arguing that they only have one side of the story. Meet Bob. His family's pretty healthy and he has health insurance. Last year, he paid $25 at the pharmacy counter for his daughter's EpiPen, the copay on the front of his health insurance card. But his plan changed last year, partly because of Obamacare. Bob became one of the 51% of Americans in an insurance plan with a high deductible. And this time, Bob hasn't hit his $2,000 deductible when he goes in for the EpiPen. So the pharmacist tells Bob he owes over $600, the list price of the drug. Bob can't afford this. So why is it happening? Yes, the drug company has been raising prices. But a big part of that is the price of the middlemen, like the pharmacy benefit managers who work directly with insurance plans. They negotiate lower drug prices from drug companies in exchange for keeping those drugs covered by big plans. For people on those insurance plans, it translates into a lower premium. But the discounts cost the drug companies money, so they raise the overall price of the drug for everybody else. If you're Bob, it just feels like you're paying $600 today for a drug that used to cost 25 bucks. So Obamacare has pushed many more people than before into these high deductible plans. It was a problem Congress said it wanted to solve. But in the meantime, everyday consumers are getting a glimpse of drug prices that have been warped by a system that they weren't really supposed to see, or at least one that drug companies didn't want them to. Mika. Casey, thank you very much. And I like Bob's red face because I exactly. feel that way, too. Very well done. Yeah. All right, Casey, thank you. Let's bring into the conversation the CEO of Mylan, Heather Bresch. And CNBC's Brian Sullivan is also with us. And you were talking about those middlemen, <coughs> like um, Express Scripts. Yeah, I don't want to pick on that. I mean, the Heather. Process, there were a couple of them. Yeah, Heather could lay it out herself. She did eloquently on CNBC a couple times. I mean, and no one is saying that drug price hikes are okay. The point, I think, Casey, I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Which I thought of it, which yeah. is that Americans, and you could talk more to this, because we're paying more out of pocket, mm -hmm. we think prices are going up even a lot more than they are because it's all it's all cash. And everyone so, blames so, 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 Heather so talk, on the EpiPen. So talk about talk about the middleman, and also talk about how there are so many prices that are fixed into the entire system mm -hmm. uh, that drives the prices up for everybody. Well, first, thank you guys, because it's complicated, and it's easier not to talk about, because to fix it is going to require a heavy lift across the entire supply chain. What's the first and thing we do? So the first thing we do, is there's two things that need to happen. There needs to be transparency. When you go to that pharmacy counter, you have no idea what that prescription is going to cost till you walk up to that counter. And I thought her demonstration was great because $25 last year, $650. Of course you're outraged. We've got CEOs of households out there, moms every day that are making difficult decisions with a lot of money out of their pocket and then have no ability to know what something costs what their options are. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you should get the benefit of your insurance from dollar one. 
what has happened because of high deductible plans, you look uninsured until you hit $1,001 or $5,001. Right. So you should get the benefit of the plan's negotiated rates, which are in the system, from dollar one. What happened with the EpiPen? Was that so? Th was that Mylan raising the price to six hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it was, and taking all those profits, or were there middlemen that took the money as well? Why didn't that come out in Washington? Well, because you know sometimes headlines uh, create the narrative, and unfortunately, headlines aren't going to produce results for so Americans that wasn't all at the pharmacy. going straight to Mylan? Absolutely not. We we showed that we were collecting less than half of that. So two seventy four was coming to Mylan. $334 was being absorbed in the system. So what we've said, I wasn't trying to blame anybody. What I was trying to show is that there's a complicated system that, invo that involves five groups of uh, institutions, from insurers to PBMs to retail pharmacies to wholesalers. And people thought that it went from the drug manufacturers to the pharmacy counter. And the reality is but there's a lot of... Heather, but, but here's what I do worry about. Dr drug prices drug prices have gone up. I mean, you guys have raised prices. Yes. But PBMs have raised prices, insurers have raised prices. And those now, are those middlemen? Now the health care seems, Joe, to be off the table. Right. I wonder, is anything going to get done? Everybody's right. like raising prices. Like transparency is what we need. But now, are we going to talk about it, or are we just going to talk about tax reform? I don't and, know. and is the White House, is the White House interested in stripping down the, the middlemen? Man and making this more transparent? Them? You know, I, I've been encouraged. I've heard two things artificially high prices, which there are, and I don't disagree. And that's why I'm sitting here today. And I thank you guys for having this conversation because we need, we need to fix, we need to allow patients at that pharmacy counter, which is now over 50% of Americans spending a lot of out of pocket money, that they have no idea what they've got to pay. So it's a constituent issue, it's an American issue, and it's certainly going to be a campaign issue in 18. Well, Heather Brash, thank you for putting yourself out there again, because uh, I know it's been tough, but we appreciate it and we yeah, want that transparency. You. Brian Sullivan, thank you as well. Brian, as always, thank you. Come back. All right. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.